if an alien arrives in your backyard, what exactly are you doing? Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing Jewels. So what's this about? A pretty simple premise. We are in a small southwestern, I think southwestern, yeah, Pennsylvania town where you know what? An alien crash landed in an old man's backyard and now him and his two older women neighbors kind of figure out what they're going to do with this alien. Is this alien going to attack them? Is it a friendly alien? And what does it need to do to get back to its home planet? So, I like this film. I thought it was a quick 90-minute cute movie that dealt with loss, that dealt with what are you going to do in your past, what have you done in the past, what are you going to do in your future, dementia, and just trying to live life the best way that you can. Even though I would say there was sprinkled in political messaging that it's so subtle where people are just like, oh yeah, but if you're like a normal person, you're like, why is that there? Why is that there? And did that really need to be part of the plot? So when we talk about the positive movie, I think the three main actors, Ben Kingsley, Harriet Sansom Harris, and Jane Curtin, does a great job with these three characters that are, what are they going to do with this alien? And what can this alien do? And what this alien can do, there is one scene about the second act of the movie that has to deal with a robbery, I'll put it that way, that it is pretty funny and ridiculous. Also, this is probably the only PG-13 movie where you're going to hear three F-words. That is correct. This is going to be PG-13 for probably brief, brief strong language, or just strong language, because yes, three F-words. First time ever in a PG-13 movie, probably. Maybe I'm just stupid, I don't know that, but it's the first time I've ever heard of it. But hey, what are you going to say? But I do think when it comes to most of the messaging of this movie, it really does work with the dementia. The loss. What have you done in the past? What are you going to do in the future to try to fix it? Because the subplot in this movie is about a guy who has dementia. And he's slowly going down that rabbit hole of dementia. Forgetting stuff. Forgetting stuff. And he had a bad relationship with his son. Will he mend that? The relationship with the daughter is not the greatest. Will he be able to mend that before the dementia really kicks in? Will he be able to somewhat make friends? So when he gets to this state, will he be able to have help? kind of try to live the last few years of his life as best as he can because there is a line in this movie that's like I know the next couple years are going to suck and it's one of those things where like you know it's going to suck but then when you get to that point you almost are in your own little basical world and that scares me the whole death and memory stuff like that is the one thing I fear I know death is coming for everyone I know the whole dementia thing can happen a few but it's just like it, it terrifies me of like what is next is it, is it a black is it heaven is it hell am i going to hell is it just like the memories of you the memories of other stuff just disappears and it, it literally gives me the freaking chills and this movie does go that route it, there is a route about you know cats as a cat thing which it kind of doesn't explain it but i think it's also cute and funny also with the government agency with that you would think it would be a little bit more smarter and there are some subplots with the cops this robbery, the government officials, and this cats. I think the three of the four that I said kind of are just in there to be in there, and they're just little silly things that really don't force the plot forward. Like I said, it's a very superficial movie. You know exactly what's going to happen. There's no surprises. There's no action set pieces. It is a talking movie, and even at 90 minutes, there were some scenes where you're like, what are we trying to do here? And you hope that it actually something occurs and it kind of doesn't also what i said in the beginning some political messaging maybe it's just this part of town but every time i see someone i'm gonna say it bluntly with the rainbow flag the pride flag and not american flag but you have that instead of the american flag i think that's more of a cultish material people are like oh if you have american flag in front of your house that's more culty well first off people say if you have an american flag in front of your house you're like 75 percent chance of not being robbed because the robber's going to be like, hmm, that person had guns. And it's probably true. So that's why you don't see a lot of American flag homes get robbed. And number two, we live in the United States of America. I've been in Portugal. They fly the Portugal flag. I've been in UK. They fly the UK flag. It's just like, if that's your country you're from, be proud about it. And then instead of doing that, you're putting the pride flag out there. To me, that's very cultish and yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. And it's like I said, no one's going to really notice it unless you're like me or other people where you're like, 
what was that subplot? Did that subplot need to be in there? Really, why is that in there? Did the director or production designer really have to put that in there? They could have put nothing, but they put something. And because of that, you know, some faults there. But overall, Jules is a cute movie. It is very superficial, though. There's no surprises whatsoever. There could have been some surprises. And I guess there is some, like, oh, funny moments like that. Like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. But then you realize it had to go that way. So Jules will receive a three and a half out of five with food toms. And he goes at 70%. Let's see the critics choose course gave this one. So you have critics, a 87% with 38 of them. Audience scored nothing yet fewer than 50 critic consensus. Brought to life by an outstanding ensemble cast. Jules uses its cute concept to grapple with potent, universal, relatable themes. And to me, it was a smart idea to have this alien kind of just be there and just listen and be part of the environment. I do feel sorry for some cats, though. 8770. Chase Hawk with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this Blue Futon took you. Blue Tone say, watch a great day. Now, can I watch this today, tomorrow, week, tomorrow, month, my year from now? I love every single one of you. Seriously, if an alien landed on your porch, is it going to be like Jules? Or is it going to be like Mars Attacks? 50 freaking 50.